Another question or kind of a comment from my YouTube channel, Aina Computers YouTube channel, and I'm responding. Caveat mTOR. Number one, I'm not responsible for your computer. I'm not responsible for your data. And then number two, any and all comments are moderated by me. Any and all abusive and spam comments are removed. And then I block you and ban you forever. And I also mark those comments as abuse slash spam. Only once, only once I don't abuse it. I don't, you know, go around marking everybody's comments abuse or spam except for those that are abusive and spam. What that means is that if other if you are abusive towards other people or if you spam other people and enough if enough people flag your comments as abuse and spam you may get your YouTube channel permanently terminated and that includes other YouTube content creators that go around and harass me even though they have less than 100 views five videos and 16 subscribers and I don't feel sorry for the fact that you do not have a YouTube channel that is getting views moving on Windows registry fix a viewer claimed that they were getting this message when they were trying to add a registry entry. I made a video this received about 80,000 views. Now trying to help people get their Windows optical, well their optical drive detected in Windows. A lot of times when you upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10, micro crap micro slop wind blows forgets that you ever had a DVD drive I don't know how that's possible but with micro crap micro slop anything is possible where do you want to go today Aaron I know you want blue screens and you don't need to use that goddamn DVD drive Aaron the p one possible fix is that you were going to add a registry key for that optical drive yourself manually using command prompt however it doesn't always work because nothing is perfect this person received the system can't find the path is all mine is saying it won't confirm it I think the actual error is system cannot find the path specified there could be numerous reasons for that Yet again, let me remind you, I am not responsible for your computer and I am not responsible for your data. I even tell my customers that. I used to make them sign off on a disclaimer where once I touch your computer, I am not legally responsible for your computer or data and that also includes on YouTube. When it comes to the registry, you better know what you're doing, otherwise you could just fuck up your computer. So you might want to learn how to restore your computer using system restore just in case something happens and always 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 back up your data you should have your back your data backed up right now there are no excuses it's easy on a Mac you can use time machine that automates it for you on Windows there are free programs that automate backing up your data for you Linux is a little bit different but there could be free tools that will automate the backup process it could be your environment variables are fucked up so what you can do is number one is make sure that you're trying to run that command they're, they're trying to run the reg dot exe and then dash add and then the key so they're telling registry which is an executable to add this registry key into the the windows registry because for whatever reason Microsoft loses that registry key and even when you try to you know scan for hardware changes Windows doesn't detect your optical drive I don't know why that is so what you're doing is trying to manually add it you're trying to tell Windows to wake the fuck up you know you're tired of this crap you're tired of Redmond always fucking with you what you can do is you can make sure, number one, make sure that you're running this command with administrator rights. A lot of commands, which is, that's proper security. That is proper security by Microsoft. Linux is the same. That's what is called a root 
account. On Windows, it's called the administrator account. You want to lock things down. You do not want a normal user account to be able to run you know, administrative commands because then you're going to have all kinds of problems. And then malware and spyware and viruses can take advantage of that. So let me show you what I'm talking about. It could be that you're not running this command with administrator rights. So in order to run, so you need to run a, a command prompt with administrator rights. So on Windows 10, it's real easy. You right click on the where do you want to go today? <laughs> the, you know, the, the rainbow colored. I don't, I don't want to go down that road. Americans don't like free speech. They never have. Command prompt. Admin. Whoops. Right click the where do you want to go today, the start menu. And then select command prompt admin. And then say yes at the user account control. Now you'll get your command prompt with administrative rights. Now try to kick off the that command reg.exe dash add and then the registry key that might fix your issue that might have all been it but it could be something different another possibility is that your environment variables are not correct on your computer believe it or not malware spyware viruses can fuck up your environmental variables what that means is that unix and linux is the same you have a list of system commands user sbin on on linux unix similar path windows windows system 32 or what is it windows sys 64 wow for 64 bit you have a certain directory where most of the executable commands most of the system commands that you know many of them require administrative rights they are located there. Well, your 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 user profile has an environmental variable. It has a pass statement. It tell it tells Windows for your profile it it tells the operating system the location of the system commands so that you don't have to sit there and type the entire path. You don't have to sit there and type, you know, c colon slash windows slash sys what is it sys wow 64 and then slash and then the command you you don't have to type that in all the time you don't have you don't have to type the location of the where the executable is located at the command can you imagine how long that would take same thing with linux linux has a path variable on windows and linux they get fucked up sometimes although in my opinion on linux is much easier to fix it's, it's your path variable in your bash file or what, whatever shell you're using. On Windows, it's a little bit more complicated. So what you're doing is you're going to run this command directly from where it's located. And let me let me demonstrate real quick. Yeah, syst yeah, I was right. I don't, you know, on Windows it's a little bit different, the command line. But so you can do a CD and all of this is written in the abstract in my blog post at my website anacomputers.com link to in this video description you can check it out read it I'm not gonna hold your hand so then C colon slash windows and then slash sys wow 64 so then hit enter and as long as you type the path correctly it'll just go back to the command prompt without any errors or anything now if you do a dir which lists all the files and executables in this directory just do a dir now look at all that there are dll's that's why you need to be careful but there are executables but i can already i can already see there's dll's too which are dynamic library links or dynamic link library files but as you can see, there's executables. So what you would do is you would then run the reg.exe slash add, I think, and then the key or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm showing you how you can run. Operating systems are dumbed down. 
I used to work at DirecTV's broadcast center in Castle Rock. Back in those days, I used to use HP UX, which is a Hewlett Packard type of Unix, and most of my job duties required command line. I wasn't a developer, I wasn't a programmer, I was a computer operator. Windows and Linux and Mac now are dumbed down. The graphical user interface makes everything easy for you. And you still complain. But you can still learn command line. Because most, uh, all of these executables and all these commands and all these functions, they're executable programs. It's just, it's all bells and whistles now. The aesthetics. So there's xcopy. That's a command. And then a lot of commands have variables. You can type in help reg.exe and then I think help or reg.exe slash question mark yeah slash question mark I think back in the day you could type in help whatever and then it tells you what parameters you can add add there's the reg add there's the reg query reg delete but you the third time, this is my disclaimer, I'm not responsible for your computer and I'm not responsible for your data and I'm not responsible for your registry. But I'm showing you how you could potentially solve this problem. So that's one way, a second way to potentially solve this problem, but this is only a potential fix. If you do not know where commands are located, you can go to File Explorer, I have it open, and then all you want to click on this PC I'm using Windows 10 64-bit then up in the right hand corner there's a search box right here I put it in quotations so that it will, that it will only search for reg.exe that's an exact search as you can see there's all there's more than one reg.exe however this is there's Windows old so be aware of that this computer was upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10, so it has a Windows old directory. But if you notice here, there's reg.exe under C Windows sys wow 64. So if I could not get command prompt to accept that command, then I searched for it and I found where the path is, where the directory is, where that file is located. There's also reg.exe under C Windows System 32. I would say you could well you could try it in either one but if you're on a 64-bit computer you you know you might want to just try running the command under the six sys while 64 so you have to browse when you're in the command prompt if your environment variables are fucked up or they're not working correctly you have to go directly to that directory and then run the command that but that's what the environment variable path is it just makes it easier for you to run system commands without having to sit there and you know type it all out and I mean I just so that's basics now if you've tried these two tips and still no go and you're using command prompt with administrator rights and you're still getting a path not specified then that tells me there's something wrong with your computer or or your profile what you could do is you could create another I did not include this in my blog post this is I don't know. I don't know. I just thought of it at the last moment. I mean, I could write 1,000 sentence blogs and, you know, go broke, but I do make some money off my blog. I actually am trying to become a I'm trying to become a blogger. Well, what I mean, I am a blogger, but I'm trying to make as much money off my blog as possible, but it takes a long time. You have to study, you have to learn SEO, blah 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 blah. For now, I just supplement my income off my blog. It could be that you have malware or spyware or, oh, I, that's right. Log into a different profile. Maybe there's something messed up with your, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you right click and then select system, although this is going to take me to the wrong system. So, because Microsoft has two fucking menus now. They have two control panels with different 
it's just a nightmare. Oh, the oh the knucklehead above me is here. I have to run pretty quick because whenever he shows up, luckily, luckily the clown above me doesn't show up very often, and the clown behind me doesn't show up. They only show up like once a week. But when they come here, this building is a disaster. It's not that old, but they did not soundproof it. They were cheap. When I say cheap, we're talking about... It's like living at home. It's like living in a house. You can hear the toilet above you, or you can hear somebody giggling or talking upstairs in a bedroom. Yes. That's how bad it is here. So I always go outside. You know what? I need to get some vitamin D anyways. It's a little bit early for that, but nah. I'm not sitting here while he walks back and forth and go fucking batshit crazy. Go to control panel now, and then there's two control panels because where do you want to go today? God damn it, Aaron. You know you want to go and say, oh, Aaron, there's nothing wrong with having two systems and two control panels and two version and two, you know, places. Oh, come on, Aaron. That's not confusing. You're just an idiot. Click on system. This is what I'm talking about. Go into advanced system settings, apropos. I'm not responsible for your data or your computer. Click on environment variables. Do not mess with these unless you know what you're doing. Do not mess with them just because you want to mess with them. If you screw around with these and you don't get it right, then all kinds of bad things are going to start happening. But if you think that your environment variable is messed up, back up your data and learn how to use Windows System Restore in case you fuck it up. And it's not my fault because I warned you. I'm warning you now. You see the path statement? There's a temp folder. So this is another tip, but you need to study that. You need to study, you know, what this should be set to. But this is this is a desperation to me. You know, but but this does this does get messed up, and malware, spyware, and viruses can mess up your path variable. Even on Linux, it gets messed up, or you can you can change it. You can change it, but that I would no. There's no reason to because it helps you out actually. But I would say that it'd be probably more productive just to create another user account. Because it could be that your user account is corrupt now. Or log into the administrator account. If you know how to unlock the administrator account on Windows 10, you can log into that and then run the reg.exe dash add space and then the key. And then in closing, if you don't think it's any of these and you've researched it and it's, you know, blah, 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 you tried a different profile, blah, 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 you tried, you know, ad administrator account, blah, 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 blah. Well, it could be that you got spyware and malware that just changed your environment variable or it's fucking with your environment variables in the Windows registry, ironically. Then you would run virus scans, malware scans, spyware scans. This is only a potential fix. Don't blame me if it doesn't fix. Don't blame the messenger. If, as a computer repair technician, you would know that things are not always absolutist. Not every fix, not every potential fix fixes everybody's computer problems. Adios.